Hello, my name is Louise O'Neill and I am delighted to answer some of your questions that came through on the Eason's Asks. So, okay, let's go. The first question was, favourite feminist author um, and which books would you recommend? Now, my favourite feminist authors, um, I love obviously Margaret Atwood, um, Naomi Alderman, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, and when I think books that I recommend, two books that I read recently that I really loved um, were Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reid, and I also really loved The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. Okay, second question. Any particular authors who inspired you to become one yourself? Well, when I was a kid, I was really obsessed with Ina Blyton. Um, like I read just, I read all of her books obsessively. And then I would write these really bad, like it was basically plagiarism and these really bad like Ina Blyton ripoffs with boarding schools and, you know, magic trees. And you know, so I would say that Ina Blyton is probably the person who is responsible for my career. I don't know if she'd be pleased to hear that. But. Uh, third question is my favourite Beyonce song and why? And this comes from Cecilia Hearn, who I know is also a massive Beyonce fan. It's very hard. I mean, I really loved the Lemonade album. Um, it came out just when I was going through sort of a particularly bad breakup. And, you know, I think there was so much anger and just raw fury um, in that album that I think is quite helpful if you're going through something similar. So which would be my favourite song in that? Don't Hurt Yourself. I think the one with Jack White. I love that song. Okay, fourth question. Any book or author that you've read that has changed how you view yourself or the world at large? Hmm. I mean, I've talked before about how Margaret Atwood, um, I suppose, gave me the language with which to express myself um, as a feminist. But I was in St. John of God's, um, the hospital, recovering from an eating disorder when I read Rachel's Holiday by Marion Keyes. Um, and I still think that's probably one of the best depictions of addiction that I've ever read in fiction. And it's funny, I think it was when I read that novel and I recognised so much of myself um, in Rachel's just, I suppose, you know, she's such a um, an unreliable narrator and uh, just, I think, her ability to lie to herself that really, <laughs> unfortunately, really resonated with me at the time. And it was that novel, I think, that really made me confront um, the fact that I was an addict as well. So it's always been a really important book to me because of that. And I love Marion Keys. So, OK, final question. What was the writing process like for my new novel? Um, well, my new novel, which is called After the Silence, um, it it's funny, you know, it probably was the most research I've ever done. Um, so like so much so that midway through, I just thought, oh, I never want to write a book that I have to do this was re research for again, which I think probably means I won't be writing a historical novel anytime soon. I'm clearly very lazy. Um, but uh, I think so there was a lot of research involved. Um, and also because it's a different genre for me, it's a psychological thriller. Um, I think a part of that was just trying to get into that mindset and into that rhythm and into that pace. Um, but funnily enough, I think while I was writing it, I felt like this was probably the best fit for me out of all the books that I've written so far. And I think that After the Silence is actually my favourite novel. And that being said, uh, it's coming out um, on September 3rd and it's available for pre-order with Eason's now. And thank you so much for all of your questions.